What's up, everybody? This is Symphonia Fan 64 here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Yellow. Now, in the last part, we finished up exploring the Team Rocket's hideout underneath the Celadon Game Corner, and we finally met the notorious leader of the notorious band of Pokemon thieves, Team Rocket, Giovanni, and we defeated him. Also, so now in this part, we're going to be taking on the next gym leader. Yay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get our next gym badge. So before we start, I just want to let you all know that all my Pokemon are level 30, just for this occasion. So, let's go, shall we? Wait. Why is there still rocket guns here? Hey, buddy! You're finished! Team Rocket's done in Celadon! Go wait! Go wait! I'll be back for you later! I'll be back! You'll see! Alright, let's head down here... And, to get to the Celadon Gym, you have to cut through this tree. And... Voila! We're on our way to the Celadon Gym. And there it is! And there's that perverted old man. Ha ha ha, perverted old men. Such a classic anime trope. That's what I meant to say in the one part where I, when I explored Celadon City. So who is the leader of the Celadon City's gym leader? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you weren't paying attention in the part where I explored the entirety of Celadon City, the leader of Celadon City's gym is Erica, the nature-loving princess. So, let's go, shall we? Well, <laughs> if everybody knows, nobody's supposed to go in here other than women. I mean, if you were following the anime, you have to dress up as a girl, but I'm going in here not dressed as a girl, because I'm not gay. So, it's obviously that I beat Asshat to this, because it's obvious, it's obvious. I beat him to it. There's no way. There's no way he could have beat me to it. There's no God damn it! Fucker, beat me to it again! Son of a bitch! <sighs> well, here we go again. I'm lagging behind ass hat. Even though I'm far superior than he is. Jesus, is this never gonna end? <sighs> oh well, let's battle some trainers, shall we? Hey! You are not allowed in here! Bitch, I do what I want. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Alright, we're gonna be taking on a lass. And she sends out a bell sprout. I have Pikachu to take care of it. Won't be using electric attack eh, electric attacks because they don't really work in you, bastard! Ha ha ha! Even while paralyzed, Pikachu can still attack you. Oh, thank you, God. Paralysis? What's that? I have Quick Attack! And she's gonna send out a Weeping Bell! The next evolution of a Bell Sprout. I think I'm going to switch to Mage. He's going to take care of that with a confusion. And I defeat the lass. You're too rough! You know what they say. Boys play a rough. And also toasters toast toast, but that's beside the point. Blech! I hope Erica wipes you out. I'd like to see her try. 
Oh, women. Next! I was getting bored. Well, thank God I'm here. Because I'm the life of the party! <laughs> and I find out, ooh, ooh. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. Snap out of it, Nick! You're in the middle of a Pokemon battle. Even though your opponent is a sexy woman, you must focus. Keep your eye on the prize. And I just realized I didn't uh, cure Pikachu of his paralysis. How stupid of me. This is going to come back and bite me on the ass, isn't it? Don't know what was going on there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it doesn't happen again. Haha! <laughs> Beach will punish. She's gonna send out a bell sprout. I will switch to mage. Don't worry, I'll be using other Pokemon. But I feel like mage needs some time. She's gonna send out an oddish. So I'm gonna switch to Pyro. This is how I'm gonna roll this thing. Because Erica's practically the easiest gym leader ever. Because she runs grass types. So easy. No! You bastard! Wake up! Wake up! Pyro! Wake up! Wake up! God damn it, Pyro! This is no time to be sleeping! Come on, Pyro, wake up! Yes, good boy! Now. Scratch it! Did I say that? So he's just gonna send out a belt sprout. I'm going to switch to Arrow. And he is going to use Peck, because that's the only move that's really effective against grass types. And I defeated the beauty. My makeup! Ugh. Grass-type Pokémon are tough against the Water-type. They also have an edge on Rock and Ground, Rock and Ground Pokémon. Gee, I would have never known that had I haven't already had a Grass-type. All right, so that way I don't forget. I'm going to cure Pikachu of his paralysis. Next Pokémon trainer. Ooh, it's another beauty. <laughs> Look at my grass Pokemon. They're so easy to raise. Sorry, were you saying anything? I was looking at you, uh... Looking at your, uh... Shexhe body. And she's gonna send out a bell sprout as well. Because you can take care of this. Oh! I just got rid of frickin' Pikachu's paralysis. God damn it. Oh, and now you do this shit. Now you... Now you piss me off with rap. Th thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On top of being paralyzed, I can't move until your frickin' rap attack stops. I hate rap. I hate it. I hate it in the first generation. It's such a pain in the ass. Uh, looks like I might have to be healing Pikachu soon. Yep. Oh, that, that's not it. Good thing I got the... Who's lemonades? 
think I got those lemonades. Ha <laughs> ha. And your wraps up. And you're dead. And she's gonna send out another bell sprout. So, mage, you take care of it. And I defeated the beauty. No! We only use grass-type Pokémon at our gym. We also use them for making flower arrangements. Wow. This has to be one of the most feminine gyms I've ever been in. Practically the most girly. And if you notice, they're very anti-men. I mean, this, this one right here just said I wasn't allowed in here. How rude. They're very anti-men. In this gem. Guess they haven't heard of equal rights. I hope it doesn't end up like that one Kids Next Door episode, uh, Operation Future, where they can uh, get the power to turn boys into girls. That was That'd be kind of weird. And scary at the same time. Hope that doesn't happen. I hope it doesn't. Alright. Before I continue on, time to remove Pikachu's paralysis again. Good thing I got those paralyzed heals when I did. Otherwise, I'd be pissed. Alright. Let's battle you next. Aren't you the Peeping Tom? How am I a Peeping Tom if I'm in the gym? If you're talking about the old man outside, that's a different story. But me, I'm in the gym. I'm not even... I shouldn't even classify it as a peeping tom. And she sends out a Bulbasaur! Oh, yeah. Find another trainer that has a uh, starter type. Cool. Aha! Well, that's a different wording. Instead of it saying, uh, it missed, it said Pikachu evaded the attack. And I was seated. Haha! <laughs> Didn't even get a chance. And she's going to send out an I- How the hell did she get another Bulbasaur? Wait, does she have a friend who had a different version? How's this work? Explain, game! Explain how she has an Ivysaur. What, did she have a friend who had Pokemon I either Pokemon Red or Blue? And... They didn't have an Ivysaur. They had a, another Bulbasaur. You know. And they didn't want it. And so they traded it. And whatnot. And, you know. How, how does this work? How does this work, game? Explain. Explain. Don't leave me hanging. Or did she cheat? Because if she cheated, then I'm expecting Dr. Hacks to come in and then throw a CRT monitor at her head. I'm in shock! Oh! You weren't peeping? We get a lot of gawkers. Dumb bitch. Thought I was a peeping Tom. How do you confuse somebody who's actually inside the gym compared to somebody who's looking outside of a window with a pair of binoculars and doing God knows what for a peeping Tom? Not only are they anti-men, they're dumb. I'm not trying to be sexist here, but damn. Alright, so we have to use cut and up, oh, trigger to trainer battle. Welcome to Celadon Gym. You better not underestimate girl power. Trust me. I have no intentions of... Holy crap, this is a new trainer type we have, uh... We have encounter. The female cool trainers. I wasn't expecting to encounter them until... Much later on in the game. But as I was saying before... I have no intention of underestimating your... Power as a girl. 
I have no intention. Because either way, I'm just going to mop the floor with you. Okay, Pikachu, seriously, what is up with you in getting paralyzed? What's up with this? Oh, thank you, God, I'm not going through that shit again. Just get rid of the goddamn Weeping Bell, and... Oh, well, that's the first time that's ever happened. Yeah, apparently certain train, some trainers, not all of them, will switch out their Pokemon for another. It's very rarely that it happens. Um, I guess the trainers that use them the most are obviously the cool trainers now that I know. And um, another trainer type we'll be encountering much later on. I don't know if we encountered them at all. Oh, I th I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, yeah, I think we did. Yeah, we did back at uh, Vermilion, the jugglers. Sometimes they'll swap out Pokemon. And Pikachu's is just gonna keep on using Quick Attack to get rid of this Gloom. <laughs> That's the only attack that'll... And oh my god! Sends out the Weeping Bell. Pikachu, just finish it. Thank you! She's going to send that Gloom back out. This time, I'm going to be ready with... Pyro! What, you thought I was going to be using Mage? Well, too bad! Waluigi time! Burn it! Alright, and she's going to send in an Ivy Sword. Now, this makes sense. At least she has a frickin' one starter compared to the other trainer I went up against. And it makes sense. It's an Ivysaur. I mean, I have an Ivysaur. Makes sense. Don't you think? And I take care of it with ease. And Mage grew to level 31! And Mage is trying to learn Recover. Ooh, that's actually a good move. Pretty much... Um, it does as its name suggests. It recovers health, and that's pretty good. So I'm going to get rid of Disable. So one, two, and poof! Haven't done that in a while. Haven't done the Markiplier poof yet in a while. And Mage learned Recover. So there's only one more Psychic type move I want him to learn. And we all know what that one is. Don't we, folks? And I defeated the cool trainer female. Oh! Beaten! Yep, your ass got beat. I didn't bring my best Pokemon. Wait till next time. Little did this cool trainer female know that there will never be a next time. Alright. Time to heal my Pokemon. Or my Pikachu. Again! Of that paralysis. And uh, please excuse me while I rearrange my uh, Pokemon team. I'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. So, with two trainers left, let's take on this one. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. Wow, we have so much in common. <laughs> because my hobby is Pokemon training. As well as something else. Shut up! I'm not perverted. And she sends out an Execute. How excellent. Bad pun aside. Let's take care of it. I'm running out of freaking... Quick attacks. Yeah, when people complain about the newest generation having, uh, stupid designs for Pokemon, I just look at Execute and going, that's nothing. People complain about Vanillish in Generation 5. We had Execute. 
A Pokemon based around eggs. And really, it's just gonna keep on using fucking Barrage. I take that as a yes. Looks like I might have to heal up Pikachu. Yep. Heal up time. Keep on going to the Pokemon when I should be going to the items. Again, thank god I got those lemonades. Lemonades when I did. <laughs> All right, Pikachu didn't get affected by the sleep. And gone. And Pikachu grew to level 31. All right. And I defeated the beauty. Oh, splendid. I have a blind date coming up. I have to learn to be polite. At least one of these female trainers has some manners, unlike the one that I just ran into oh, with Tummy I don't belong here. <sighs> Honestly, some people these days. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to uh, rearrange my Pokemon team again, so I'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. So, let's take on this last trainer. Don't bring any bugs or fire Pokemon in here. Why not? Oh, is it because you're going to get easily beat by him? Because guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I brought a fire type. <laughs> Too late. Should have told me earlier. But then again, I still wouldn't have listened. Goodbye. Sweepage! She's going to send out a gloom. I'll keep Pyro out. Oh damn! Not Poison Powder! Thank god after this I'm going to the Pokemon Center after this. And Gloom's dead. And I defeat the last. Oh! You! Oh, you! <laughs> I just love how she said that when I brought in a Fire-type. When she told me not to, it's like, oh, you. Our leader, Erica, might be quiet, but she's also very skilled. Yes, you could say she has mad skills. Anybody who doesn't get that re get that reference from Dino Crisis, well, then again, who wouldn't? Because I don't know anybody else who has played this game that I know. Other than RPD 310, but that's beside the point. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up. So, when I come back, we'll be taking on the Gym Leader. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. So, it's that time now. It's time to take on the Gym Leader. Alright, cut down this tree again. And, gee, I wonder who the gym leader is. Could it be the only female sprite that's different from the rest? Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh, dear. I must have dozed off. Welcome. Wait, you just greeted me earlier and saying how nice the weather was, and you're saying you dozed off? What? My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well. But I shall not lose. We'll see about that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be going up against the next gym leader, Erica. Now, pretty much, it's self-explanatory how to beat her.
basically, if you have a fire type, use it. If you have a flying type, use it. But, there are different ways of defeating her. For one, if you recall when I uh, got TM-13, which contained Ice Beam, you could teach that to a water type. And you can use that, although, be careful because, remember, grass types are good against water types. Or, you could use psychic types against your poison types, or you can drag out the battle and use your own grass type. However you want to do it, she's got to be the easiest out of all of them. And she sends out a Tangela, a new Pokémon we haven't even seen yet. I'm going to burn it! And she uses Constrict, one of the worst moves in Pokémon history. And I burned her Tangela. Seriously? Is that how her Tangela knows? Is that Constrict move? Regardless, it's dead. And Pyro grew to level 31! And Erica is about to use her Weeping Bell. I'm going to send out Arrow. Weeping Bell is level 32. But Arrow's got this. She's acid. She's giving my Pokémon drugs. And she seemed like such a nice person, too! Got rid of that Weeping Bell before it could give my Pokémon any more drugs. And her last Pokémon is a Gloom! And now to surprise you all, because... I'm gonna send out Tank! Why? Well, if you weren't paying attention... I gave Tank... Ice Beam! And it didn't kill it. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh boy, not pedal dance. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. This may have been a bad idea. Does tank do it? Tank's got this! Tank has got this! Alright, tank! You saw that pedal dance like, come at me. Come at me, bro. Come at me, girl. I can take it. And I defeated Erica. Oh! I concede defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer you the Rainbow Badge. The Rainbow Badge will make Pokémon up to level 50 obey. It, will, it also allows Pokémon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. And I received TM21. TM21 contains Mega Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That about wraps it up. We got our fourth Gym Badge. So, that's all I have to do in this part. So, I'll end off this part here, and in the next part, we will be continuing on on our, on our Pokemon adventure. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, this is SymphonyFan64, signing off. See y'all next time.